Hello everyone, um, well this is Wise, he's the wireless interactive Sapien experiment, he's made from a Robo Sapien robot mashed together with a Raspberry Pi and the microphone taken from a web camera. Um, in front of him is a small app written in Python that's running on a little tablet that allows us to interact with the robot in several ways. Um, he's called Wise for one particular reason in the fact that he talks to several different APIs to process his speech to answer questions and generally be a wise robot so let's let's give him a go how long is the great wall of china you see when his light turns off he's now recorded the question that's being transferred into text being sent off to get the answer, come back and then transfer the answer back into speech. 31,196 km kilometers. And then you'll see that the answer pops up on a little pop up on the screen. But the range of what he knows is is quite vast. It's um. What's the diameter of Jupiter? And it's about an eight second round trip to process the answer and then turn it back into speech. 85,964 miles. But you'll also see that Wise um, has a sense of humor. What is the answer to life, the universe, and everything? Forty-two, according to Douglas Adams' humorous science fiction novel, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Thank you, Wise. If we look at the Python interface, you'll see down the bottom here, we've actually got a, a few buttons that allow us to control the robot directly. And while we've not quite got him tidying the house up yet, he's not too bad at doing what he's told. Wise now does also have his own Twitter account, which is at RobotWise, and if you tweet the robot, he will actually read your tweet out for you. I have just received a new message from the big bird. It says hello to everyone, wishing you a Merry Christmas and a very scientific New Year. And if you tweet the robot and you start your tweet with the word command, it takes whatever comes next as an actual instruction. That's wise, everyone.